Hi friends, uh, today I want to discuss uh, basically on isolation levels. Uh, the question will be what are the uh, isolation levels in uh, DB2? So there are four isolation levels. One is uncompleted read, one is cursor stability, one is read stability, and one is repeatable read. So with respect to cursor stability, we generally use this for prod browse. So uh, whenever we are browsing prod database, then only we will use this cursor stability. This is ideal for all the uh, select queries. Okay. Cursor stability. Cursor stability is basically it will lock only one row at a time. So it will uh, basically when there is an update or insert on a table, it will lock only one row at a table at a time. So the basic concept you should uh, uh, remember is default isolation level is CS cursor stability. Read stability is something where the resultant of a query is locked. Resultant rows of a query. So let's say if a query is written and it is uh, trying to pull 10 rows, then those 10 rows will be locked here. That is the read stability. With uh, repeatable read, the whole table is locked here. So we call it as dirty read. So these are the four basic isolation levels.